on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. You heard? Uh, what? What? Apparently, this place uh, was uh, manufacturing villains out of common people or even animals. Yeah. Uh, wait. What? They can do that? Well, yeah. Huh. So what about it? Well, it burned down. What? Yeah. Apparently, this. Uh, vigilante actually set it ablaze. Only two people really survived. Uh, though it is weird considering that they were there. What? What makes? What's so weird about them being there? Well, really, they're they deal in trigger. The quicker answer? Yeah. As well as uh, hmm, they probably. Or test subjects or something. Who knows? But if anything, they saw a blazing inferno with only one person walking out of it. And he let them go. Huh. So he killed everyone else. Yeah. Hmm. That's very upsetting. And let's talk about that. Soon we find the guy, he'll face his... He'll face justice. Do they have a lead? No. Any evidence of him being there besides in the fires or the ashes and that's very helpful. And when it comes to their witnesses... Hmm. Well, they could say they f saw a flaming werewolf. Whoa. So, um... Huh, that's a lot to really think about. You're telling me it's kind of a pain in the ass. But... Oh, well, we'll find him. He will be punished for his actions. It starts out, it seems more like he was doing a good thing to you. Perhaps he was doing a good thing, but he did it outside of the law. Which, no matter how good the act is, we have to punish him. Hmm. That makes sense. So, what's his, what's his sentence going to be? Well, the crimes are vigilantism, arson, and since there were people in there, murder. Huh. That's it? Yes, that's it. Why are you so interested? Because I just heard about it. As soon as they arrive at the USJ, Izuku, he already notices something's off. And, uh... Is kind of distracted for if I just all oh, crap, but they figure out that I'm the one that did all that. It's gonna be messy. But luckily, he has no time to really think about that as villains have arrived on the scene. And uh, they are more than happy to fill in the gaps and whatnot. In which he takes out Yon Yonder using. His newly acquired poison, it paralyzes the villains. Izuku was probably like, wait, what, you thought I was going to kill them? 
Yes, but no. It's not nice. Uh, but the effects of that poison. Ah. But you forget. What? Since it's my quirk now, I can rewrite or change things I need. What? As he sees Hellhound, just <laughs> yeah, we were gonna tell you, but uh, uh there's uh, something else we can do now. Like what? Due to the bond we share with you, and us being our strongest, turns out I didn't reach the peak of my true power. What? Though, yes, I can heal, there are limits to it. Uh, what kind of limits? Depending on how grave the injury, I may not be able to heal it completely all at once. If it's a very fatal injury, like no doctors or anything could help me, yeah. Serious? Yes. But if it turns out to be something like America Cut or something like you might be able to get sick. So it's really just for its physical injuries, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to strengthen myself more. Huh. Interesting. As soon as the Nomu shows up, Izuku, he sees it as a... Hmm. Okay, what's your name? Shigaraki Tomura. Good. Good to know. Who is that? That is the Nomu. is an artificially created weapon. Artificial? You say? Yes. So what you're saying is it's not alive? Is brain dead correct? Say less. This is Zuku, he just takes out one of his vials. Everyone's looking at him. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Bombs up, big fella. As soon as the Namu inhales it, it triples in size. Its teeth gets more jagged and sharp. Shigaraki's like, did you just upgrade my monster? Says, yes, I did. As the Nobu just walks right up to Izuku and bows. What? Oh. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. Ow! You see, brain dead. That's one of the best type of creatures to really, for me to control. You see, uh, that big giant snake over there spitting venom, and that uh, flaming wolf. Wait, flaming wolf. Uh, I mean, uh, either way. They had wills of their own, still do, so they can do whatever they want whenever I'm not giving a command or suggestion. But when it comes to this gigantic big fella, <laughs> yeah. So what you're saying is, yep, that only time you upgrade him. He's loyal to only me. In fact, as Izuku, he just grabs hold of it and just downright absorbs it, only leaving the head behind. So, would you just. Ooh, I like that. What'd you just do? So, hyperspeed regeneration, shock absorption, 
and super straight, huh? And before they even came to be, they were already <clears throat> massively leveled up. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, let's just say your number was gone. And uh, I have its powers now. I must say, I am very impressed. This thing seems to be able to... Wait. What was your goal here? Shigaraki, he is nobly upset. He is scared to a certain extent. Like, we were here to kill All Might. Okay, that's why everything, every quirk it has makes sense. Shock, shock absorption. Make sure All Might's punches are... Nearly ineffective. When it comes to hyper speed regeneration, what damage all might does do is easily healed. S super strength. Make sure you can actually return those punches. You. You, uh. You have surprised me, sir. In fact. What's your quirk? <laughs> Why? Who knows, I might want it for myself. <sighs> Is, yeah, Shigaraki, he's a Korgi, I guess, out here. I'm not risking that. But, uh, Shigaraki is, just do it! Them leaving before Izuku could even do anything else. Everyone looks at him and is, did you really just absorb that Nomu thing? Yeah. Oh, but it is weird having so many strong quirks. He will really come in handy as a hero. Bakugo is silently damning the world because... Man, that's not fair. Life has not been fair at all to me, man. And then... say. Like, Huh? Hey, Yamagon. What is it? Hillhound. Yeah? Y'all smell that? Uh. Yeah, it smells like, um. Rain? As a lightning bolt strikes Izuku and he is down. Everyone. Or slack jaws, shot, wondering, wait, where is he? What the fuck just happened? Meanwhile, in Midgard, on top of a large mountain, oh. ah, Ugh. what the? Uh. <sighs> okay, what the hell is that? Welcome, Berserker. Uh, uh huh? Who are you? Surely you know of the Raven King, Odin, and the God of Thunder, Thor. You're Thor. Yes. What? What? What's wrong? Um, I expected Thor to be more fit. Uh, just because I have a, a meat gut does not mean I'm not strong. Like, uh, no, no, I get that. It's just from what I've heard about you, you didn't. Mm. Either way, why am I here? Well, you've come to celebrate your victory. What? Yes. We've been keeping an eye on you for quite some time. So like, mm. Mm-hmm. Why don't I believe that? What's this feeling I don't like? Come. Let us feast and drink and be merry. No thanks, I'd rather be back uh, in my world. 
Wait, how do I, how do I even get here? Hmm. Why do this little trinket? It. Uh, huh. What is it? It has some dwarves crafted for me. They were well rewarded. Yes, but they also made my sphere, as well as my son's hammer. Hmm, I might need to get to know these dwarves. Wait, dwarves are real? Aye, that, that they are, as well as gi giants, elves, you know. Holy crap! You serious? Yes. Oh, come. Let us celebrate. But wait, 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 wait. I still want to go home. Trust me. You'll be home as soon as we're done making merry. Don't trust them. What was it, Hellhound? I don't know, but something doesn't feel right. Seriously, you're, you just got new power, and now, suddenly you're in a new realm, Midgard, of all things, and you have a Berserker quirk. Isn't Berserkers the usual Norse mythology t based? You have a snake that grows to insane... Yeah, you're right, and I did call him, name it a uh, Yaman Gun. Exactly. Not to mention you gave it a poison cork. So what you're saying is there, that this is set up? I don't know. But, at the very least, I wouldn't put it past someone who, from what I can tell, Odin likes knowledge a lot. Who knows? I know. What? He's gone through the same lengths just to get some knowledge he didn't know before. Even giving up his eye. Yeah, um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Mr. Raven King. But, um, I'm going to decline your offer. I would just like get better if, uh, yeah, you sent me home. Told your father it wouldn't work. <sighs> Shut up, fat dobber. Uh. <sighs> Fine. Why not I just cut to the chase? Yes, I brought you here. Not to celebrate, but to kill you. What? You see, I have uh, uncovered a certain prophecy, and apparently it revolves around this little, little toy of mine and you, saying that you caused Ragnarok, and I wish to stop that. done research about us. So, that makes you a threat. <clears throat> Wait, as then, Hellhound just jumps out of Yuzuku and stands his ground. So does Jaman Gondor, as... Like I knew it. Wait, wait, what are you two doing? Protecting you, idiot. As soon as Hellhound uh, lunges at Thor, he gets... Bitch slapped by Mjolnir and yeah, lightning beats fire, especially when it's, you know, surrounded by a very blunt object. Then see, <laughs> wait, why aren't you? I guess I was right. <laughs> this is a lot for me to heal. I don't think I can. <laughs> 
Yeah, my gun, we gotta get out of here. You're right. I'll buy you some time. What? <laughs> you know what? You'll make great practice with the real one. Wait, 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 wait. Practice? As soon as we're done with your snake boy, we'll finish off you. And your little dog. This thin storm clouds start together as lightning envelops the hammer. Jumogun looking back at Izuku's place to stay alive. Knocking him off the cliff, seeing him in hell hurling towards pure, you could say, stone. As soon as Izuku wakes up, he, all he can hear is lightning strikes. Loud, blunt. What the hell? Where are we? Him turning his head, seeing that Hellhound is still down, and he's went for it. He's hurt. He's like, what's, wait, come on, please don't. Get, please get up. Come on, we gotta help him. I'm sorry. What, what what are you saying? We we won't be going home together. Wait, 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 wait. please please don't say that. Come on, we, you have to get back up. We can still you can you're healing. No, nope. <clears throat> Lightning is bad enough, but this that hammer. It's different. I can't guard against magic, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You, you can still heal yourself, can't you? No wonder that Thor's known as a giant slayer. I'm... I'm sorry. As then a flash of lightning goes straight through Izuku's face as... He hears a loud bellowing roar as he falls to his knees. He's dead. What? Yum Gond's Gond is dead. with you. Yamangan is dead. I am dead weight. I'm as good as dead now. Please, you can't. Don't fight the gods. Find a way home. Oh, she won't let me go home. Odin isn't the only one who's able to travel through worlds. Remember? I'm no. Find him. Try... <clears throat> Just try to... get home alive. And tell everyone we fought bravely. As... Yes, Elhound turns into a wolf made of embers, him starting to crumble away into nothingness, being carried off by the breeze, and Izuku is all alone. First, he witnessed the final moments, the last thing Yamagander saw. But... He had to watch as the life faded from Hellhound.
but before he left, he knows that his tattoos faded away to nothing. As what's left of Hellhound's embers cling on to him and fuse with him, giving him what power that he actually had left. But when it came to Yonmangander, there was nothing left. But. Don't leave me alone. I hate being alone, not again. Him getting flashes to his childhood. But he could hear a whisper from Hellhound and Yamagander. These are our final parting gifts to you. My fire. And of course, my poison resistance. Don't go dying on us. Though we can't come home with you, you can at least <laughs> tell people about us. Maybe in the maybe tell a good story. Don't please leave out the part that that was a little cowardish. <sighs> Zuku hearing his friend's voices for one last time is heartbroken, angry. The the gods, uh, they're not as they're not like how they're depicted in mythology. Odin is a paranoid asshole who really cares about gaining more knowledge and wanting to prevent something that's been pre preordained. Thor is a bloodthirsty, bow hungry brute who only really wants to have fun. And that hammer of his is the bane of anyone who is an enemy of Thor or Odin. So, he went, he went traveling, any human village he passed through, they would offer him assistance, but he would just walk, he would just hunt, fish, he'd be completely alone, he would be too worried, not wanting to, you know. You know, risk making friends just f so Odin and Thor could take them away from him again. And that is Izuku's life for several years. Now, we have a time skip. It's been five years. And Izuku has finally come across the royal tree and as soon as he sees Heimdall he runs to him on his hands and knees and begs Heimdall to, to send him back he wants to go home that's all he cares about but he refuses Suku surprised concerned like Wait, why, why, why won't you just let me return to where I belong? The old father demands it, and I can't go against him. This is when Izuku takes out a stone sword he crafted. Send me home, or else I will kill you. Boy, I am more afraid of Odin's cruelty than I will ever be of a mortal like you. So be it. 
as to the fight between them, it goes on for hours until Izuku actually gets lucky, overcome by rage, fury. He starts using his fire, imbuing it within his sword, and strikes down Heimdall. But by the time he realizes what he's done, he can't relish in his victory. This is when Ice Guardian starts to show up, hearing the battle, wanting to see who the winner was. And as Izuku ran, he screams. It's not a pleasant one. Not to mention, he starts feeling stronger. He starts feeling this energy envelop him as he just realized I've never killed a god before. But before he can actually escape, this is when he actually comes across something that strikes fear into his heart. Odin, he has this weird object in his hand. Just points it at Izuku. Before Izuku can even blink, he's encased in ice and knocked from the perch of the world tree and sent hurling towards Midgard once again. Frozen in time. Not being allowed to age. He's even surprised he's still alive. He's all alone with his thoughts. Only the rage fueled fire is keeping him alive. As he waits, he turns up the heat as much as he can in hopes that he may be able to escape and exact his vengeance on the gods. Or at the very least, return home 